Hey y'all, this is Willie from Fungi Ally. Today I want to go over five cool facts about mushrooms. The first one is that they belong to their own kingdom, the kingdom of fungi. And fungi are completely different than plants, completely different than animals. And there's three things that make a fungus a fungus. One, the cell walls are made of chitin. Two, they, their mode of nutrition is absorption, so they secrete enzymes outside of their body and then suck nutrients back in. Instead of us, we have an internal digestion system, so we consume food, do the whole digestion thing in our stomach, and, and fungi are kind of opposite. And then the third thing is that they don't produce their own food, so they're heterotrophic. They rely on an external source for their food whether that's a living plant or some dead material or anything else that they would eat. Number two cool fact is that a fungus is the largest organism in the world. And this is a, a honey mushroom, Armillaria osteria, that grows out in Washington. And it's about 2,000 acres large, absolutely massive. And this isn't this like huge fruiting body, it's not this big mushroom, but it's the, the mycelial network that extends underground and, and is consuming trees um, that makes this organism so big. Uh, number three is what is a mushroom? Right? Everyone always refers to mushrooms and what they are. And a mushroom is actually the fruiting body of a fungus that can be seen by the naked eye and picked by hand. So it needs to have some like substantial size, and it's the fruiting body. So it's kind of like the blueberry that's coming off of a blueberry uh, tree. You know, it's not the tree itself, but just pops up. Um, and it's a very small amount of fungi that create mushroom fruiting bodies. Less than 10% of all fungi actually create uh, mushrooms. Um, okay, the fourth thing that's super cool about fungi and mushrooms is that they're an awesome source of vitamin D. There's been some really interesting studies that have shown if you expose mushrooms to the sunlight, then the vitamin D content will astronomically increase by the counts of maybe 4,000 times. And all mushrooms contain this compound called ergosterol. And ergosterol is the, the building block to vitamin D. So when they're exposed to sun, they get this vitamin D, and then if you consume mushrooms that have been exposed to sun, then you're getting that vitamin D. Um, and they can, they can increase their vitamin D content at any point. So even if you buy fresh mushrooms and dry them yourself or dried mushrooms, you can expose those to sunlight and that'll increase the vitamin D content. Okay, number five, this, this is how I got really involved and passionate about growing mushrooms, mushroom cultivation is that they can be grown on a lot of byproducts, either agricultural byproducts or, or byproducts in the city, whatever, whatever it might be. Um, this is things like uh, coffee grounds, cardboard, paper waste, uh, straw, um, a lot of hulls, a lot of hulls of like sunflower seeds and soybeans and cotton seed, all these hulls that are, are not really used or only used in um, dairy feed can also be used for cultivating mushrooms. Not to mention all the forestry products, right? So you have your sawdust and wood chips and logs that are produced by arborists around in cities or by sawmills. So those are the five sweet facts about mushrooms and hope you learned something today.